All right. Moving walkway type of questions. Okay. A man walks at a speed of 1.5 meters per second due east on a straight horizontal travelator. Travelators are something like a flat escalator that you see in some airports or even in some train stations. Okay. So these are travelators, or they call called the moving walkways. All right. So a man is on the walkway, but uh, he is moving on the walkway. Okay, so the walkway is moving at a speed of one meters per second. Well, the man on the walkway is also walking at a speed of one point five meters per second. So, how does it all make sense? Okay, well, uh, first thing you may want to do is to try to sketch a diagram. Sorry, this is supposed to be a straight line. Okay, all right here you go. So try to sketch a diagram. This represent the walkway. Okay, the walkway is moving at a speed of one meter per second. Well, there's a man here on the walkway. Okay. Well, he himself must be in some kind of hurry, so he himself is moving on the walkway at the speed of 1.5 meters per second. Okay. So this is what, uh, more or less, the first line is telling us. Okay. Find the velocity of the man relative to the travelator. Now, what does it mean? What it means is that well, if you are the travelator, how would you see the man moving? Okay, so of course, if you are on the travelator with the man, and you are not moving, so you, you know you're just moving with the uh, the the travelator because the tra uh, the travelator is moving you. Okay, so you will of course see the man walking past you at a speed of one point five, isn't it? Okay, so we say that well, the velocity of the man relative to the travelator is equal to one point five meters per second. Okay? So far so good? I, I, I hope this is quite easy for you because um, you know you can't really do much working on this type of question. Usually it's a write down the answer type of question is a one mark type. So um, you have to really understand what is uh, the question asking for and therefore uh, think about how to get the answer. Okay? The working wise is very simple. This is 1.5. It's the same answer as was given. Okay, so next thing here, find the actual velocity of the man. Now you must then know that the man, although the man is walking at a speed of 1.5 meters per second, he is actually not traveling at a speed of 1.5 meters per second because it, he is actually traveling faster than 1.5 because he's on the walkway that is moving at 1 meters per second. Okay, so to find the velocity of the man, in fact, um, some of you may already realize that the answer is simply 2.5 meters per second. Okay, uh, think about it. It's actually quite easy to think about this because um, let's say he's moving on the ground, not on the travelator. He'll be moving at 1.5 meters per second, isn't it? But now he is moving on the travelator, which is also moving. Okay, at a speed of 1 meters per second. So the man is actually traveling forward at an additional speed of okay, uh, 1 meters per second by the travelator. So total, the actual speed of the man that is traveling at will be 2.5. Okay? Now how do we present this in our working? Okay? Well, we again make use of the formula that uh, we, we talk about. Okay? We have seen in the previous examples. Okay? So this one, uh, the velocity of the man relative to the travelator, we do know that it's 1.5. Okay, and uh, the actual velocity of the man is something that we don't know. Okay, so uh, we we'll just put vm here. Now the speed of the travelator, yes, we do know this. This is one meters per second, and therefore, all right, when we move things around, we get the velocity of the man is equivalent to one point five plus one, and that is how we get the answer of two point five meters per second. Okay, now the last part here. What is the actual velocity of the man if the travelator increases its speed to 1.5 meters per second and the velocity of the man relative to the travelator remains unchanged? All right, sounds like a mouthful, but really it's actually quite simple. What is it trying to say is that well, again using the same formula we got here, the relative velocity of the man relative to the travelator remains unchanged, which means that it is still 1.5. Okay. Now, now we are again looking for the velocity of the man, but now the velocity of the travelator changes, okay, from one to become one point five. So again, when we move things around, 
Okay, we will get three meters per second. Okay, so actually you may notice that all these workings are rather redundant. Um, but do take note that uh, in the exam it is quite important. It is quite important important for you to present your workings and uh, to get some working marks in case of some careless mistake along the way. Okay, so I hope you are okay with this example because it is still quite manageable, I hope.